Hello YouTubers, I think today it is September 1st, 2021. Uh, the movie Candyman just came out a couple days ago and it's been a while since I've done a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the Candyman designs first and then I'm going to move on to the other Rucking Font shirts. So uh, here's, uh, here's a Candyman design shirt. Take a look at it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then there's another one. Hold on. Yep, here it is. I like this. I like the purple color and how the image is kind of like flipped or, or reversed. Here's a closer look. Pretty cool stuff. I haven't seen the new Candyman movie, but uh, we'll see one of these days if I can get somebody to stream it for me or whatever. So, And uh, now I'm moving on to other designs. So here we go. Here we go. Now this shirt design, I think it was based off a movie called The Rocky Horror Mount, uh, The Rocky Horror Picture Show or The Rocky Horror Music Show. Pretty cool design. It's, uh, I think it's like a heather shirt, so it's very lightweight and soft. It's got all kinds of stars and stuff all over it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And by the way, these are all Rucking Fountain shirt designs. Here's, a, here's another cool variant. This is a different kind of variant than the other one you just saw. It's kind of like uh, turquoise and pink. The webcam, well, you can't really see the colors too well, but it has like a turquoise pink look. Sure, it's kind of wrinkled, but uh, it's, it's a pretty cool design. I like it. Pretty fascinating. Yes, sir. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot about this other shirt design. Uh, this one right here, uh, this is actually a recent design. This is a pretty recent design. It was based off a movie called Belly with uh, DMX and Nas in it. I love this fucking design. You can see Nas, DMX, Method Man, t boz Tara Hicks. It's pretty nice. White t-shirts. And uh, here's what it looks like from the back. Pretty cool. I actually just received this like a couple of days ago. So fairly recent. Fairly new. And here's the front again. Just in case you missed it. Yep. Pretty cool. Oh yeah. Rest in peace to uh, DMX. He died a couple months ago. So. Got more shirts coming. Yep. More designs are coming. All right. What else? What else we got? Uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a pretty cool design too. This shirt design was inspired by the movie Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I actually saw that movie like last month, I think, on Netflix. Uh, I like this design. It's it's a variant, but uh, it's it's very uh, the colors are very vibrant and psychedelic. There's nothing on the back, as you can see. It's just nothing, but on the front, you know, pretty cool. I love it. I enjoy wearing it. <laughs> Rucking Fountain. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is nice. This is based. This is uh. This is another Rocking Fountain design. It was inspired by the movie They Live with uh, Roddy Piper and Keith David. Uh, I think John Carpenter directed the movie. I think it was released. I don't know, nineteen 
88 maybe. Pretty cool design. Very unique. Nothing on the back, of course, but uh, on the front. It's pretty cool. It's co this shirt's comfortable to wear. Let me bring it in a little closer. Pretty nice. I like the movie and the design, so pretty cool shit. Uh, what else? What the hell is this? Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a uh, this movie was uh, well, obviously uh, this design was inspired by the movie uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Starring Kurt Russell as Jack Burton in the movie uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Apparently that movie inspired Mortal Kombat because you had a lot of characters wearing uh, Raiden's uh, hat. Uh, Raiden's hat kind of looks like uh, like this. You know, he puts it on his hat, on his head, and shoots lightning out of his fingers and stuff. So, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty goofy and cool. And here it is again. Big Trouble in Little China. Yep, yep. Yep. Cool stuff. And I think this this will be the last shirt design. I got more in the basement, but uh, I think this the shirt design was inspired by the movie The Monster Squad. Um I've worn this at least twice. I love the colors and the design itself. Uh, the room, the natural light is coming from my window, so it makes everything look bright. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool design. Yeah. Uh, I actually have more shirt designs I could show. Let me just grab the. Uh, Okay. Just gotta grab it from out this corner here. Hold on. Uh, what is this? Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Got more coming, y'all. Hold on. More coming. What is this? Okay. Well, uh, this is a uh, vintage wash Blade Runner hoodie. Um, got like these logo like a symbol alphabet logo on the front it looks kind of like used and washed uh if you look at the arms here you can see like the Voight Kampf icon from the movie Blade Runner I don't know if you can see it but uh yep it's right here pretty cool and then on the other arm is uh the actual title of the movie Blade Runner I don't know if you can see it, but here it is. See? Uh, well, Blade Runner says it on the, you know, on the arm. But uh, when you flip the hoodie itself, you can see, like, the actual design they put. You can see Harrison Ford, Rutger Hauer, and Sean Young. And then you can see uh, the other replicants over here. It's comfortable. It's very comfortable to wear, and it's soft. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy wearing it this fall or winter. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? What else? Got some more. Oh yeah, uh, I got more color. Got more color. So. This is inspired by the movie Blade Runner 2049, which is like the sequel to the first Blade Runner. I actually saw this in theaters in 2017. It was pretty cool. It's in red and turquoise colored letters. And then on the back, it's got the horse symbol. For those of you that saw Blade Runner 2049, that's the horse symbol or whatever. Pretty cool. Here's the front again. Yep, here it is. All right. Here we go. Got more coming. Uh, this is another shirt design inspired by the movie Big Trouble in Little China. This is a variant. Uh, the color, the 
the shirt, the color of the shirt seems to be like a navy blue. And of course the design is all in like gold, gold and white. I'm glad I have this shirt in my collection. It's pretty cool actually. I like it. Nothing on the back, of course. If there was something on the back, I'd show you. But uh, it's just on the front. So there it is. And I got one more to show you. One more bag of Rock and Cotton designs to show you. Just uh, hold on while I get it. Uh, this is actually a hoodie, but uh, it was inspired by the movie uh, Roadhouse with uh, Patrick Swayze. And there's a design on the back. Uh, got Patrick Swayze, the guy, the man himself. Uh, trying to balance this image out. Pretty cool design. And if you look on the arms, uh, like right here it says Roadhouse. You can see it. And then on the other arm it's got uh, Patrick Swayze himself kneeling or standing. You know. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. Yep, Patrick Swayze. And here's his, here's the design again. Yep. All right. Uh, what else? What else? Got more coming. This is a crew neck sweater shirt inspired by the movie Monster Squad. Uh, it's got the amulet from the movie. It's got the bullets on the side arms here, right here. And it's got like vampire stakes on the other arm. See that? I don't know if you can see it, but uh, like vampire wooden stakes. And here's the back. This is on the back. Cool design. That's why I bought it, of course. Crew neck sweatshirt. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Uh, what else we got? Well, I'm going this one up. This is pretty cool. This is uh, one of the Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees movies. Uh, I've been dying to get my hands on this design. It's really, really nice. It almost looks lifelike and realistic. I actually grabbed this in uh, one of Rook and Fountain's leftover sales. I had to get my hands on this. It's in my collection now and I'm very, very happy. There's nothing on the back, of course, but uh, it's got Jason Voorhees with the pitchfork. He doesn't have like the hockey mask on, but he's got like a burlap potato sack head covering or something so pretty cool pretty cool This is an all-over screen print shirt, which Rock and Fawn has never done before, I don't think. And uh, this design was actually inspired by the movie uh, The Return of the Living Dead, released 1985 by director Dan O'Bannon. This, uh, this character that you see in the front, his name is uh, the Tar Man. He was in the uh, Trioxin barrel thing that those two guys in the movie had released, some kind of gas that can revive the dead. And uh, apparently the zombies, they don't go down when you shoot them. Even when you shoot them in the head, they, they're still coming at you. So here's the front again. I actually have two of these now. So I'm pretty happy about that. So, yep, yep. Tar man. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yep, yep. Yeah. All right, I got two more shirts and then that's it. I think I'm done for the day. Maybe I'll come back another day and record some more shirt videos. Yeah. 
turret. So, uh, this is one. Oh shit. <laughs> My screensaver came on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, here's a, uh, another Tarman shirt, but it's a little bit different on the front. Uh, another one of Rough and Fontan's designs. Pretty cool. It's mint colored. Haven't worn this yet, but uh, pretty sure soon I will. So here's a closer look at it. It's the Tar Man again. I guess this color is supposed to be like mint or aqua or turquoise. Pretty cool. Nothing on the back, of course. But uh, of course, you know, on the front, you see the Tar Man himself. On the front. Yep. And uh, one last shirt, and then that's it. I am done for the day. Done, done, done. another variant. I love how bright it is. It's very green. Apparently the webcam doesn't capture the picture or not the color very well so you can't really tell that it's like a bright lime green. I love it though. I love it. The tar man. Pretty cool. And uh, I think that's about it. So uh that's all the shirts for now. There's always more, of course, but uh, I think this video is about 17 minutes long, so I'm just going to wrap this up, and uh, who knows, I may come back another day, but uh, thanks for watching, and uh, maybe I'll come back another day. Bye.